It's beer candied bacon and popcorn chicken burger served with beer and tomato chutney, mustard aioli and slaw on brioche. And why do you think people like bacon so much? I think it's a, it's a great democratic meat. Yeah, everyone can afford it. Um, and I think people have good memories of bacon. It's always there. It's always there for you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like a friend. Yeah. Amazing. Black Forest Smokehouse Maple Bacon, Bourbon Bacon, Bacon Steak, Bacon Sausage, and Bacon Crumb Poached Eggs on sourdough. So my one fear about this dish is that it might be too much of a good thing, like too much bacon. But I feel like bacon's getting a... gets a hard rap. gets a hard rap for vegetarians. Clearly there is nothing nobler that we could do to a beef than turn it into a magnificent dish like this. Yeah. And As Lana Del Rey said, baby we're born to die. We're born to um, die. So... Kitchens you know, have this theory that the cultures who have a kind of strong moral sense about whether or not you should eat pigs or not tended to be cultures that um, also apprehended, like, the value of human life more. Mm. So, I don't think you can make that judgment. Well, he never ate this. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> I think if Hitchens had have met this dish, maybe he would have changed his mind. Looks like a science experiment. Yeah, yeah. There's bacon pieces in here, milk, ice cream, bacon fat. Yeah. I was afraid of it, but... It's quite thick. It's like a wine review with that mouthfeel thing. It's like the bacon fat is definitely there, and the my mouth is feeling very big. It's like I've just yeah. licked the pig. Yeah. Do you think this dish maybe breaches taboos? Um, it's very. And that we're taboo busting with this. It's not. Well, I don't know if it's all, but it's definitely yeah. not kosher. Yeah. Yeah. So what's this one? Oh, pork belly. It's pork belly with sticky sweet chili and fennel seed sauce with bacon, caper, coriander and lime salad. But for most people it shouldn't be an everyday food. Like it's, it's a very, obviously it's a very fatty cut of meat. It's um, very rich. Who's out there making pork belly an everyday food? Who's that? Well, it's it's now become, it's on every pub menu and it's one of those things. If you go, if you eat at the pub a lot, it's like, do I get a parma? Do I get a pork belly? Mm. I say if you want pork <laughs> belly three meals a day, just do it. Uh, yeah. Face the consequences later. I still really like the first dish we had and, and that's kind of the high watermark for me. I'm a bit worried that after three dishes and a milkshake now, you're just suffering from bacon fatigue. Alright. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the end. Yeah. Buttermilk waffles with house-made bacon, caramel and cinnamon ice cream, Black Forest Smokehouse Maple Bacon, maple syrup, and chocolate coated bourbon bacon. All the bacon that we're eating today has been smoked locally at the um, Black Forest Smokehouse in Marrickville. They source their pigs uh, locally, sustainably, they're free range. Good on people who want to do it free range way, environmentally, all that kind of thing, because the last thing you want is this like nagging sense of guilt hanging over you while you're gorging yourself on like five or six different types of bacon dishes. I'm liking this one better than the milkshake, to be honest. For that bacon dairy combo, I think this one works. But doesn't your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? No. <laughs> I didn't think it would work, I'm not usually a, a sweet person, but if you add a heap of bacon to it, suddenly it's palatable. For like um, a degenerate young man who enjoys to eat just grotty food, like, it's bliss for me. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's... Yeah. Kind of like being in a, in a bacon sauna, but we are the sauna. Um, Everyone is naked. You, you, everyone come in and they, they play a countdown and then whew, you take off all your clothes and you spend the next two hours 